Hey guys, Eric Zanda here, and today I'm going to remake the video where I showed you how to download all Spotify songs at once. This video is in true HD and will go into greater detail than the last video, and will hopefully be able to answer any questions that you may have. So let's get started. For this video, I am going to download this playlist right here. Um, there's only seven songs here, but you can download a whole ton. You can download your entire playlist or all of your songs that you want. And as you can see, I already have one of the songs downloaded. Uh, and you can tell by this music note right here. So this song's downloaded already and by the end of this video They will all be downloaded and they will all have this music note And then you can take them listen to them offline put them on your iPod or whatever you want to do with downloaded music How do we do that? Well, we're gonna use this application spotty DL and I'll give you this link in the description uh, You're gonna want to download it for either Windows Mac or Linux So I'm just gonna click Windows since that's what I'm using and then wait a little bit uh, this isn't the newest version of Spotty DL, but it's the most accessible and it's the most available and this is just the best version to download is 0.9.36. And just wait a little bit and then it will come down here and tell you, yeah, it says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyway? You're going to want to press keep. This is if you're using Chrome, it'll say that. And then it'll download. The reason that it says that it might harm your computer is because it's a .exe file. But um, that's just a precaution. This is completely 100% safe. So anyway, once you download it, go to your desktop where it installed or wherever it installed and then open it up and press run. And then press next and then accept the agreement. You can read the agreement if you want. Press next, 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 next. And so, and then um, just wait a little bit and I'll skip the video while this does all of this stuff while it's downloading. Okay, so when it comes to this part, um, you're going to want to click Decline um, and Skip. Those are third-party software that you don't want. Okay, so just press Decline and Skip on the last two. And then start Spotty DL and press Finish. And then it'll load up. Okay, now it's loaded up. It'll ask you if you want to update. You don't want to update, so just press X. And then this folder is currently empty, so we're going to want to add songs to this. You can import your playlist by pressing this button or you can go to Spotty or Spotify and you can select the songs that you want. So I'm just going to click this. I want to put this whole playlist in. So I'll press the first one, press and hold shift and then click the last one and that'll cop that'll select them all and then I'm going to press control C to copy, minimize it, go to Spotty Deal and press control V to paste. So now all of them are pasted on here or like I said you can import the playlist. And we're almost ready to download, but a lot of people have a problem where it doesn't download unpopular songs. So if you have some unpopular songs that you want to download, you're going to want to go to Preferences right here. And this checkbox that says don't try to download not popular enough songs, uncheck that. I don't know why it's checked in the first place. Just make sure that this box is unchecked, okay? And then you can um, mess with other settings like do you want it to launch its startup, close in the system tray. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I'm just going to uncheck that. And everything else seems about right. Uh, so yeah, now go back to your folder. And these are all the songs. So I'm just going to press download. And it will download to this location, uh, users, and then your name, and then wherever you want it. You can select where you want it to be downloaded uh, over here. But yeah, once they actually, once you selected the location, you could just press download. And as you can see, it's starting to download all of the songs. Um, it's doing it two at a time. You can go to preferences and change how many at a time you uh, want it to download. As where is it? It's right here. And um, if also, even if you unselect um, don't or to not download popular music, you can change the mode to record, and then it will play the song that you can't download, and then it'll take that, render it, and then you can download it like that. Um, but yeah, so this is working and I'll skip the video until all of these are done just to show you that it'll work. All right, and now they're all downloaded. So let's go to Spotify and see. And yep, they're all right here. All of the songs have been downloaded. So you can take them, listen to them offline. You can do whatever you want with your downloaded music. So if this helps you out, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.